So I'm going to talk a little bit today about what are these fancy neural network diagrams. So if you ever see a neural network in a paper or something like that, they'll have a diagram that looks like something like this. And then these maybe go to something else. So what are these and what does it mean? Okay. So I'm going to start out very simply, and we're going to have two input nodes. So I'm going to have a, what they call a bias term, what I like to call an intercept, and a regressor. OK. And then in the first one, these are just going to point specifically to an output layer. So this is called an input layer. And then this is the output layer. Then when we do this, there, um, there's often these intermediate layers, like in my other picture over here, that would be the hidden layer. Okay, so we're not, I, my simple diagram over here isn't going to show this. So as an example, for an input layer and an output layer, you know, imagine you, you know, your X here is uh, something like in the diamond data set that we looked at previously, this is the uh, carat weight or mass of the diamond. Let's just say mass. Okay, and this is the, the price of the diamond. Okay, and we want to fit it with just this simple neural network. So there's several things that are not shown in this diagram that you need to complete the, the model fit. So, um, for example, one is that these, um, these two lines, every time two lines connect to another uh, layer, there, um, there are some associated weights. And tip, often the weights are not drawn. Another thing that is not shown in here is a loss function. So let's give a simple example of this particular diagram where we actually include the weights in the loss function. Um, oh, and uh, I'm sorry, another thing that is, is often not shown is a nonlinear function that connects one layer to the next layer after you've multiplied the inputs times the weights, and that's usually called an activation function. Okay, so, but let's take this, this simple diagram that we have here um, so what we're saying is that these two inputs are what they call bias term, right? And our input X are going to be combined to produce the output. So let's imagine that our loss is say, um, squared error loss. So it's Y minus Y hat I squared will sum over I. Okay. And that our activation function is just a line or in specific an identity line. So that F of A equal A, that's the identity line. Okay. Then what this diagram co corresponds to, right, is that we take our two inputs, our one and our X. So we have our one, we multiply it times its weight, W naught. Oh, and I should have put a one there, plus our, our second input, xi, and multiple, or let's just say x right now and uh, omit the subject index, times its weight, right? And then it gets passed through the activation function, f. So that's just going to equal the same thing again. Okay. And then that is going to equal our predicted value. Okay. So then, when we plug that into our loss function and we minimize it to obtain the things we don't know, right? We know X, right? And we have some Y's to train on. What we don't know are the two weights. We know we've specified our activation function. So it tries to minimize the loss function with respect to those two weights. So in fact, when I combine this simple network diagram and <clears throat> uh, also specify that the activation function is linear and that the loss function is mean squared error, 
when it minimizes it, it should just come up with linear regression. So this is just the first example, and we're going to uh, work on increasingly complex examples after this.